Welcome to a new video. Welcome to the car. It's a long time since we've been uh, doing a video from the car. But before we talk about it all, of course, as ever, hit that subscription button and let's roll the intro. Zoom. Just going to quickly interject here before we run the video. I just wanted to point out that when you watch this video, it's going to be completely out of sync with all the other content which has been recorded and as yet, not yet edited and posted in the channel. Um, this video was recorded over the Easter weekend. In fact, this is as we now travel back. Uh, we're an hour into a six and a half hour journey to drive back up uh, home. Where we're up to currently in the sequence of edits um, is probably around about January. So rather than make you wait all the way until, well, let's be fair, I've not been posting, I've not been keeping up with the content that I've been recording. So probably, if I carried on at this current rate, you probably wouldn't watch this video until summer. But I want to release it straight away. So, yeah, this video is out of sync. Norm normal service will be resumed after this video. I'll jump back. It's all gonna make sense once you watch it. Anyway, let's roll the intros. So, Easter weekend, we're back in the car, we are heading south. We're on the M6, heading towards Bristol. We've got a double header weekend. Tomorrow, Easter Friday, we're racing at Castle Coombe. 45 minute crit. Saturday, we're heading to uh, Hillingdon, so not far uh, to the west of London. Again, another 45 minute crit. About 360 miles, traveling south from Edinburgh down to Bristol. Uh, Easter weekend, it's really, really busy. So we've just stopped just outside Stoke and Trent for a quick pit stop, and then we're off again. Um, yeah, thoughts about the weekend? We'll see how it goes. Obviously, um, training-wise numbers, we're a little bit behind. Well, actually, we're quite a bit behind where we want it to be. Obviously, we've had the issue with our back. Um, it's not quite sorted, but we did have physio earlier on this week, so it's feeling pretty decent. We'll see how it stacks up uh, with actually hitting a race because we haven't done any racing since we injured our back. Um, we've done some work on the track, but then that was sore again. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, in terms of what we're expecting, well, who knows? Two reasons. One, as I said, we're not quite where we want it to be. And two, we've never raced on these circuits. So um, Castle Coombe is, of course, a racetrack. So it's wide open, um, can be very uh, prone to wind. And um, but it's a but it's a good surface to race on. Hillingdon, I've never raced on Hillingdon. I believe it's got a few little lumps in it. It's got a few little uh, tight tight corners. But other than that, it's a fast flowing circuit. But not racing it, so I don't know what it's going to be like. I can't stop uh, and chat to you for too long because the longer we sit, the the later it is that we're going to head into Bristol. And as it is, we're looking at about 9 p.m. So better get moving. I will catch you tomorrow when we get ready to race at Castle Coombe. So, what can we say about that? The Chipping and Wheelers Easter Crit, Cat 4, 30 minutes, Plus one lap. Essentially, my race was over after one lap. Um, I heard people talking about when they were going to make a jump. And I thought, I'm going to move up. So I started maybe third on the grid. Um, I moved up after the first chicane. Coming around into bend three. 
and I saw them starting to go. So I went and I just didn't have enough to even go with them. I tried, but it just wasn't happening. I was going backwards. And then I got stuck at the uh, second chicane. Um, people just cut across. And then that was it, essentially race over. I was in the wind and I was struggling. Um, second lap, there was a, a, a pile up at one of the chicanes. Unfortunately, one of the uh, one of the other PDQ riders got taken out. Um, thankfully, he's okay. Um, about five or six people went down. So the rest of my race was, um, I joined up with a, a female rider and uh, we did a two up for a while. We caught up to another rider um, who we said to join in and he did, but he sat on the back. He didn't do any turns. And then eventually we got him to come through and do turns. But then when he did do a turn, he took off and he stretched it. And it's like, what's the point of this? And then we caught up. Uh, with another PDQ rider and we did a four up although again this third guy wasn't taking any turns and then we caught a fifth and then at that point I, I did completely blow and, and I essentially just rode round solo for the rest of the time so yeah very disappointing um, five hour five and a half hour odd drive to get down here um, to essentially have five minutes worth of racing um, yeah, that's what it is. Um, I knew coming into it, I wasn't in a good a good state. Um, carrying too much weight, not carrying a high enough threshold. Good peak power, but I need to be in a place to use that peak power, and, and I'm not there. I'm not in that place just now. So, yeah, disappointing. But, do you know, it's still nice to be out on the bike. Um, it is a nice circuit. Um, two chicanes, very wide open. The chicanes are a bit of an issue, and that's certainly where two of the little crashes were. Um... Essentially, I think people are just going into it too fast. They're not. They're not. They're not con taking into consideration how fast the chicane is, and they're going in too quick. And and yeah. Anyway, the cat threes are on just now. I'm going to go and watch the tail end of them, and then we've got the ladies up next. We've got two. We've got Goosey and we've got Lauren um, in the the ladies. So need to go and um, need to go and cheer them on, and uh, and hopefully we can uh, see some good racing from the PDQ girls. So, um, yeah, it is what it is, disappointing, but it's good to be on the bike, it's absolutely scorching, so I'm going to go and watch some racing, and then on to race number two tomorrow at Hillingdon, so I'll see you then.
Good morning. It is um, Easter Saturday. Day two of our back-to-back uh, -back road trip. We have just joined the M4, heading out of Bristol. So we're heading east towards London. 99 miles on the M4. And then another three miles off the M4 and we will be at our destination, which is Hillingdon Racetrack. Um, yeah, so, yesterday, didn't go well. Um, had a little chat with uh, our coach, Jason. Had a little look at some of the numbers, and yeah, not really sure what happened at all. Um, here is the, um, here's the graph coming across the screen from XR. As you can see, the MPA dropped like a stone and never ever, never, never really recovered. And I, I don't know, I really don't know what happened. Um, I had, according to, uh, according to Whoop, I had a decent amount of recovery. I was ready for strain. Uh, my HRV was, was relatively high which is an indication that your body's ready to perform. Um, my respirations were a little bit low. They've never been, uh, they've never been outside of the normal, well, I say normal, my normal range. They've never been outside of that range before, so I don't know what that means that they're a little bit low. Um, and certainly when you dig into it a little bit on whoop, it doesn't tell you, it just says they're a little bit low. Um, maybe you want to keep an eye on this over the next couple of days, but it doesn't tell you why or what. So, was that has to do with it? Was I not getting enough oxygen in? I don't know, but anyway, we popped, and we popped dramatically, game over. Went out for a little short spin last night. Um, we were super, super tired because, you know, as much as, as, much as we popped, we still worked hard uh, throughout the race, even although we weren't in the race, and we generated a huge amount of daily strain on the body. So we were very, very tired. And, uh, but we did manage out for a little spin. It wasn't anything like I wanted to, you know, to be honest, I wanted to get up into the Mendip Hills and just enjoy the fact that it was a gorgeous sunny day, um, something which we don't have much of, certainly this time of year in Scotland. So, yeah, we didn't get out. We got out for like half an hour just before the sun went down. We did a little tour of uh, just some local streets in Bristol. And um, do you know what? The legs felt okay. We did some stretching when we got home. Uh, we'll do some more stretching once we get out of the car, when we get there. Today, we are not rushed. We left on time. We did spend a little bit extra time in uh, Asda because we wanted to pick up some extra fruit. Uh, we also needed to get some sun cream because yeah, we forgot it yesterday, and uh, we got we got slightly crispy. Um, not so much from the race, because the race was only in like 30, what, 40 minutes. But um, we sat uh, we, at the, the, the racetrack, we stood at the racetrack for the rest of the day and watched the rest of the race, and so we spent a good four hours or so out in the sun, so yeah, we got quite crispy. Um, so we got some sun cream on, we're a little bit, uh, so that took a little bit of extra time, um, but we still have, once we arrive at Hillingdon, and certainly uh, looking at the map, there, are, there is no, uh, no congestion today. It's gonna take about an hour and a half. We will arrive at Hillingdon at 12.30. Our race is at 1.30, so that gives us a good hour, which is plenty time to get signed on, relax, get changed, get the rollers out, get a proper warm-up done, because that's one thing we didn't get yesterday at all, there was no warm-up. And um, yeah, hopefully today's race will go better. Again, Jason's given us some uh, pointers as to what the Hillingdon track is like, uh, where to put the pressure on, and then when to sit in the wheels. We've never raced at Hillingdon, so um, that's another good reason to get there in plenty of time. So we can get out on the track and get a couple of uh, sighting laps in and we can we can visualize where Jason was talking about the bend to put the pressure on and 
the little rise and yeah it's a lot more of a technical track as far as I'm aware from yesterday so um, a proper crit race will be had today anyway it's um, 16 degrees just now on the car's temperature gauge it is 10:45 uh, in the morning it's gonna reach about 18 today yesterday was about 21 it's meant to be overcast however do you know there are clouds but I wouldn't call it overcast um, so yeah it's gonna be another hot day again very little wind perfect perfect uh, perfect conditions for racing so anyway an hour and a half in the car and I'll uh, I'll catch you Hillingdon so here we are at Hillingdon uh, Hayes which is on the west of uh, London over there behind me we can see uh, Heathrow in fact we can see planes taking off so tiny tiny little bit of wind very little cloud 18 degrees currently we are racing in an hour's time so uh, time still for the temperature to rise um, we're gonna get set up we've got the rollers out because unlike yesterday we've got plenty of time to get a proper warm-up done and then we're going to go and do a couple of laps of the track um, it looks exactly as I thought it would be it's a proper crit circuit nice and narrow gonna be technical corners yeah looking forward to it Well, what can I say? Punctured. Punctured. Yeah. That's right. We drove seven hours down to Bristol to have a shocking race yesterday. Blow up almost immediately. We then drove a couple of hours to just outside London today. Another gorgeous day for riding a bike. Little wind. Very warm. And uh, yeah, we punctured. So a really, really unsuccessful day today. Um, the thing to take from today though of course was that despite puncturing I was actually going really really well at the time. I was sitting maybe well front portion of the pack anyway so maybe like between 10, 10 to 15 maybe 20 so yeah really disappointed about that but you know that's bike racing can't do anything about that um, the seal never worked or I should say it did work it plugged but it then felt really, really unstable in the corners. And of course, as I said, Helladin is a proper bike circuit. Proper bike circuit. Nice, tight, flowing corners, really fast. Nothing super, nothing super technical. Really flowing circuit, really enjoyed it, but that's the brakes. Anyway, we're just walking up to the finish line so we can watch the end of our race and uh, get some pictures. So, it's uh, 8.30, we've been on the road since 2.30 and uh, because we stopped for petrol and we stopped for some food, we are due to be on the road until about 10.45, so it's a long drive. Um, but what that does do is it gives you time to have a think about how things have gone and um, you know today really disappointed that we picked up that puncture um, you kind of do second guess you know could could we have stayed in the race um, you know the, the, the tire was certainly rideable um, it obviously had lost some pressure but it wasn't that soft but it was feeling a little bit sketchy and you know that was the reason why we pulled out because at the end of the day well we're gonna drive home, don't we? Um, we're not chasing anything, so why take a risk? But you kind of second guess yourself and think, 
Was it a risk? Did I pull out too early? Anyway, 279 normalized power. Pretty good. Considering at the moment threshold's at 258. Now looking at the looking at the XR graph, it was certainly MPA was on the downward trajectory. So would we have lasted for the 40 for the full 40 minutes plus three laps? I don't know, maybe not. But you've got to take some positives and despite the legs obviously being horrendous yesterday and essentially popping immediately, they felt a lot better today. They didn't feel great, but they felt a lot better and you know, for the time that I did get to race, I felt that I was performing well. Uh, I was in good position. I was moving up when I needed to. I was sitting on the wheels. I wasn't I wasn't surging ahead. I was just moving round people and, and getting in good positions. So we've got to you've got to take the positives for that and you've got to go, do you know what? Yeah. Anyway, gotta get some new tires. Uh, when we stopped for some food we were doing some some searching and it looks like we're gonna struggle to get some tires because um, the tires, two different types of tires that we want are out of stock everywhere. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame because we've got another race planned in two weeks time. Uh, this time down in Lancaster. So yeah, don't know what we're gonna do with that. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. As ever, drop me that thumbs up if you have. So hit that like button, smash it and tickle it. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on that notification bell and make sure you subscribe. Lots of people watching the videos and not subscribing. Great that you're watching, but how about subscribing? Take care of each other and yourself. What? That's not what I say. I say, take care of yourself. Keep those hands clean, look out for each other, and uh, as ever, I shall see you soon. Hopefully sooner than has been, because I have been really bad at keeping up with the videos, even though I've been recording a lot of content. But yeah, I'll see you soon for some new videos. Right on.